welcome to another edition of this week in five minutes news bulletin on ghana districts tv for more of the stories that are coming your way do log on to ghana districts.com or interact with us on our various social media handles at ghana districts my name is Emmanuel Fempon. now the headlines President Ekufuado commissions 320 housing units for Ghana Police Service. Also about 10 billion Ghana cities invested in road sector this year. Again, Kaswa Winiba dualization project progressing steadily. And in sports, Real Tamale United has been sanctioned for fielding unregistered players. Do stay for the details after the break. Now the news in details. President Ekufuado says his government is committed to addressing the accommodation needs of security personnel in the country to enable them carry out their mandate. He was speaking at the commissioning of a newly constructed 320 housing units at the police training school at Tesano. This morning, we're witnessing the realization of a promise, a vision that has been in the making for some time now. The Security Services Housing Project, which we embarked upon in 2018 during my first term of office, is aimed at providing decent housing for our gallant men and women in uniform. These 320 housing units symbolize our resolve to ensuring that those who risk their lives daily to protect us have a safe and comfortable place to call home. In our next story, government has spent about 10 billion Ghana cities in the road sector this year in a quest to improving movement of goods and services and persons. Finance Minister Dr. Mohamed Amin Adams disclosed this at the presentation of the Mid-Year Budget and Fiscal Policy Review in Parliament on Tuesday, July 23, 2024. Mr. Speaker, government is determined to improve road infrastructure in the country. This has been done through the construction of new roads and the upgrade and maintenance of old ones. The rehabilitation and maintenance of road infrastructure nationwide are at various stages of completion. This includes the Abosu, Boinzang, Ongoyin roads, Winnebaka Aswa, Karaga Town roads, Wishaku Town roads, Tolong Daboya roads, Nanton Karaga Bushaku Highway. Town roads, Accra Kumasi roads, and many, many, many other roads. Still on roads, work on the rehabilitation and upgrading of the 30 kilometer Kasua Winiba road into a dual carriage road is progressing steadily. The construction of the road involves 16 kilometer of service roads, the construction of interchanges at Budumbram, Ewutubreku, and Akochi Junction, as well as a flyover at Sapato. It also includes the construction of 16 footbridges, 15 box and 51 pipe culverts and walkways. Extra service lanes will also be provided at all entry points to the main roads to assist commercial drivers to pick up and drop off passengers. Real Tamale United has been sanctioned by the Ghana Football Association for fielding unregistered players. Sports is up next. The Disciplinary Committee of the Ghana Football Association has imposed a fine of 100,000 Ghana cities on Real Tamale United for behaving in a way that puts the game into disrepute, contrary to Section 346D of the Ghana Football Association regulations. The committee found that during the match day 28 game against Dreams FC at the Theatre of Dreams, Real Tamale United did intentionally deceive match officials by fielding unregistered players to impersonate officially registered players of the club. So this is all for this week in 5 Minutes News Bulletin on Ghana Districts TV. For more of the stories that came your way, do log on to ghanadistricts.com or interact with us on our various social media handles at Ghana Districts. My name is Emmanuel Frimpong. Thanks for watching.